it. Um, okay. You, you, you mentioned, I hear this a lot. Again, Christians tell me that to, to know God, I have to read the Bible. I did. Yes. And the character that's in there is not this loving, awesome father figure that everybody seems to be, not everybody, Christians seem to be promoting. Um, I'm just going to throw one right here, Hosea 9, 16, where God says, I will slay your cherished offspring. God says that to people who won't listen to him. Um, he sends his own people into slavery. He sends she bears to, to, to rip apart kids in second Kings, um, Ezekiel five, if wild beasts to kill children and eat their own, they will even eat their own children or it, yeah, even <laughs> the parents will eat their own kids because they worship the wrong deity. These are things he's done. The flood, the Passover, all horrible, disgusting genocides. So, but their consequences to sin. That's how ugly. Sin at what is. point is the that death is... of a child justif justified? Okay, but we aren't God. We are not. We are made in the image of God. We Do are. We not have more God. common sense and logic so, than God. Because we can tell, we can, we, me and you can both agree that killing kids is not a good thing, right? We can both agree on that. There's no, never a good choice. I don't totally agree with that. When, when is a good reason to kill a child? So here's the thing. I actually talk about this in my book. Okay. If, if you You're want scaring to, me a little bit. What's a good reason to, to kill a child, it. Stephanie? <laughs> I actually put in there, I said, is God pro-life? That ah. is one of the, the. Yeah. Topics I talk about. And I said, no, I don't believe that God is pro-life. God is pro-God. That's the difference. God is wow. not, God is not moved by us. We are moved by him. And if you've read the Bible, but you haven't read it with the active Holy Spirit, a opening it up to you, that's where you'll get really stumped up with the word because if you're only reading it through human eyes i mean the bible even says the bible is foolishness for those who don't believe like that's scripture so, so i have to have a the bible ghost. even recognizes that i have to have a ghost inside of me and then read the bible the holy spirit 